you are watching this video because you have a boat sitting on the ground and you need to transport it somewhere. I will show you how. So for whatever reason, if your boat is sitting on the ground, maybe it's sitting on dry land near the lake or and you want to tow it somewhere without having to pull it in the water and go to a boat launch, or maybe you purchased a boat that doesn't have a trailer. Um, if you can't simply with with a bunch of guys pick it up and put it on a trailer or take it to the water Then you're gonna need a trailer and I would say any boat trailer would work. This boat trailer is actually for my uh, larger speed boat, but any boat trailer will work especially if you have rollers at the end It'll help guide it up here. You can even with just one person like I am today You can get that boat up on the trailer and transport it to wherever you want. Okay, get your toe strap pulled all the way out as far as it'll go, and simply and simply hook up to your rowboat. Now, the next point is you can see that's too high uh, for it to just come right up on there, unless you have some guys on the end to stand and pull that up on there. But that's, I tried that, it's actually harder. It's actually easier to come to the very front of your trailer and simply lift this end up and start cranking. So get this ready so it locks out and then it'll crank this direction toward you. The tow strap feeds the boat right up onto the trailer. Right, this initial step is probably the hardest step of all. You want to crank up the tension on your reel. Get it slightly tight. I'm going to get this end picked up. You can see, two guys would be better. But if you don't have two guys, don't worry, you can still do this. someone help hold that up while you crank on so you don't put too much pressure on the bow. One other thing you want to do is chalk your wheel so your trailer doesn't go back any further. Especially if you're on a hill like that. Don't chalk the wheels at the beginning because it won't load up to the boat right away. That's just more of a safety measure in case it rolls backwards. Now it's definitely better if you crank it on with it up to the bottom. Now as the pressure gets on there, this gets lighter. I think it's best if you get as much of the boat on as you can without tipping this down. Stay the holiday. No, I, I watched YouTube. I'm out of breath. Because like I say, it's better to do this with more people with you. But I'm showing you the method to do it all by yourself if you have to. So try and get as much of the boat on there while you're lifting up the trailer as you can because it's easier on the frame of the boat. And then the rest is just like it is at the lake. 
you just crank it all the rest of the way up so that my folks is how you load a boat from the ground onto a trailer now like I say it can be done with bigger larger boats as well but if you have a motor in the back you're gonna have extra factors to consider because you don't want to drag your motor across your yard It's very helpful if your boat trailer has a roller like this has. Then it can feed it right up onto the, onto the trailer as you crank the tow strap. So my rowboat had a trailer that failed over the winter. The shock uh, absorbing system broke on the inside. If any of you know how to fix that, let me know. It's a 1963, oh, what is this boat? The boat came with the trailer, it's original. It's a 1963 Mertens, made in Minnesota. And uh, the axle system has a suspension bar belt inside there. And this one broke, it actually came completely off. So now, I can no longer trailer my boat. This, yeah, it's completely separate. Looks like it had a, looks like an airplane tire, actually. A small aviation aircraft. There you have it. Your boat is loaded onto your trailer and you're ready to go catch some fish. Uh, next video I'm going to do is how to catch fish. But I'm not going to teach you. I'm going to watch someone else because that's something I have yet to learn. Well, I mean, I can catch fish. I, I've done it before, but I'd like to be better at it before I try and teach you guys how to do it.